The uh, uh, global demand for energy um, is, is forecast to continue to increase um, well into the future. Uh, people understand that they, uh, uh, that they need energy to, uh, to go about their daily lives, to take their children to school, to cook their food, uh, but they also want to know that it's being delivered and, and produced in, in a safe and, and responsible manner. And that's, that's the crux of, of, of our challenge going forward, is ensuring that uh, uh, we continue to provide people the energy that they need in a safe and, uh, and, and responsible way. For our whole history at TransCanada, we've always had a focus on ensuring that we're at the leading edge of technology and that will result in the most safest pipelines available at that particular point in time. So if you think of where we were you know, 60 years ago to where we are today, light and day difference between the technology that we're employing. And over that, that, that you know, multi-decade uh, period of time, we have invested heavily in, in research and development around welding techniques, detection of, of leaks, construction techniques, river crossings. Over the last year, we've spent about $45 billion on, on research and development. So we've realized that um, these things aren't competitive advantages, they're imperatives to doing business. And so it doesn't matter whether uh, we're the best if, if everybody else isn't, isn't with us. So we've shared our um, best practices with others, and others are now sharing their best practices with us. And we've, we've created collaborative partnerships with our peers um, to look at the best technologies. If consumption of energy is going to increase, that means you know, greenhouse gas emissions are going to increase. So we have to do everything that we can to reduce the, the greenhouse gas intensity of the total energy mix. And our job within that is to reduce our footprint around GHG emissions. And we're doing that sort of on, on the ground with respect to our equipment. You know, we're trying to move to the, the, the best technology available to compress our, our, our gas through our systems, to pump our oil through our systems, uh, to reduce energy usage across our systems, and to make it as, as efficient as, as we can. On a more macro level, we understand that, that our investments that, that we're making have to drive or be part of the, the transition from a, uh, a more carbon intensive energy mix to a less carbon intensive energy mix. And that has to happen over time in a reasonable uh, way, but we're investing in, in large amounts of money in, in nuclear technology, for example. Our, our Bruce refurbishment is uh, in the tens of billions of dollars to, uh, to provide emissionless energy, baseload energy, to, uh, to the province of Ontario for, for many decades to come. In addition, we've invested in things like wind power, um, solar power, uh, hydropower, um, and all of those are going to be part of the, the mix going forward. Our, our assets traverse thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. We, when we build that infrastructure, it's in, the, uh, in place for, for many, many decades to come. So essentially we marry those communities. They have to be comfortable with us and we have to be comfortable with them. As I said, they, they know that they need energy. They just want to know that it's being done you know, safely and responsibly and that their communities aren't going to be negatively impacted. Our intent is, is to bring positive impacts to their community in terms of reliable, affordable energy, um, job creation and economic development and, and community investment. That's the kind of things that we can offer. That's been a very successful formula for us for decades in the past and, and it's turning as we look to, uh, to the many expansion projects we have going forward. It's a formula that appears to continue to work with us going forward. It's true engagement, listening, understanding um, and, and responding, building capacity in the community so that they can, they can be our long-term partner. Communities that we, we, we work in and operate are our home uh, for, for many of our employees and I think what, uh, what we have here at our company is, is, is a spirit of, 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 of giving back and, and working with the communities to help build communities that we work in, that we operate in, that we live in. Um, these, these people actually live in these communities. So as we've moved into to more difficult times in, in, in the industry here over the last year, I've been very proud to see you know, the reaction of our employees to actually step up um, in, in this kind of environment. Um, to work in their communities. You know, one of the greatest things that I get out of being a CEO is when I get letters from these communities um, thanking us for uh, our participation in whatever that might be, a uh, you know, hockey arena, a social program for, for the youth, uh, educational development. As when I get that, that, that feedback, that says to me that, that this company's got heart.